All right, so now we have looked at adding a positive plus a negative, a negative plus another negative. So now let's look at what happens when we have a negative plus a positive. You should see a lot of similarities in the process, but you might see some differences too. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Um, so let's say I have negative 5 plus 7. Well, I just have a plus sign here in the middle, and I know that I start at the first number, and then plus would have to mean go right. So I'm going to go straight to the number line. So let's draw a number line here. Okay, and put a zero somewhere on there. Like, let's put a zero right here. And I'm going to start left five. One, two, three, four, five. So there's my negative five right there. And now my plus here in the middle means go to the right. So this is going to be my plus 7. So from there, I count up the scale 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And where I end is my answer, so that puts me at 2. So what that tells me is negative 5 plus 7 is equal to two. And that's it. That's the answer. So let's compare that to another example. Let's do um, negative 8 plus 4. Very similar, right? You start with a negative, add a positive. So let's try this one with the number line. Sorry, let me get my number line here. All right, so negative 8 is kind of to the left, so I'm going to put my 0 way over here to the right. And I go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Start here at negative 8. And just like before, I go to the right 4. So I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and that puts me right here at negative 4. So negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. Now you look at these two problems, and in both cases we're adding a negative plus a positive. But in the uh, first case, we get a positive 2, and in the second case we get a negative 4. So what's the difference here? Well, if you look at it and you realize that in the one on the left, that the negative 5 goes 5 to the left and then it goes plus 7 so it goes 7 to the right obviously that's going to pull harder to the right than it does to the left when a problem like this pulls harder to the right you end up with a positive answer now compare that with this uh, other problem and you see we go 8 to the left and 4 to the right well the negative 8 is pulling harder than the 4 so when you're adding a negative plus a positive, you can kind of look at it ahead of time and decide if your answer is going to be positive or negative based on which number is pulling harder which direction.